Mabuhay! Ito nga pala si Teacher Jan. At ito ang I Teach. Kung bagoan kayo sa channel na to, huwag kalimutan mag-subscribe, like, share, comment, and hit the bell button para updated kayo. Sabay-sabay tayong matuto. Tara, simulan na natin ang lesson ngayong araw na to. Planning and Designing a Personal Computer Computer System Servicing ICT CSS 10 Part 2 Tara, alamin natin ang lesson na ito. Planning and Designing a Personal Computer Objectives Identify the different factors to consider in planning and designing a PC. Plan and design a personal computer. Give importance with the essential components when designing a PC. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. Planning and Designing a Personal Computer There are many factors to be considered when designing a home-built computer. The most important among these are Cost The first step in planning your new PC is to set a budget. Decide how much you can afford to spend on the entire project. Later on, you can use this budget to help you make decisions about individual components. How much is your budget allotted? Cost Intended Use If you only want to run office applications, surf the internet, and other low-pressure tasks, then you can save a bundle by selecting components that are low-cost but more advanced. This is especially true of processors, which tend to drop very steep in price, but the next fastest version of the same chip is released. On the contrary, if you are into gaming, audio, photo, or video editing, music composition, or other high-resource computing, you will want to get as close to the bleeding edge as your budget allows you when choosing a CPU, ROM, motherboard, etc. You'll also want the biggest hard drives you can afford, and will probably want to use SATA for fastest data transfer. What do you plan on doing with the machine? Intended use Operating System A kind of any computing components you can buy will come with drivers for most recent versions of Windows, but check the box to make sure. If you are planning to use Linux, BSD, or some other non-Microsoft operating system and then make certain that your components will work with that system. Most Linux distributions, for example, maintain lists of hardware that will work with their distribution. There are also news groups devoted to hardware issues on specific operating systems. How much processing power do you need? Operating system. Reputation. As you begin to lay out your new PC, it is better to check the reviews, news groups, and message boards to see what others think of the components you are considering. What 
people are saying about the product you are purchasing. Reputation. Lifespan. Hardware advances that make a component forefront this year may just almost satisfy the minimum system requirements for software released a few years from now. If you can afford it, selecting the most current components available may enable your computer with an extra year or so of life. How long do you want the computer to last? Life span. Personal preferences. Most computer fans have their own favorite companies, like NVIDIA video cards and creative sound cards. But it doesn't mean that the others are no good. It so happens that most found out that NVIDIA and creative products are more durable, high-performing, and dependable. Others also, like Netgear network cards and Plexstor optical drives, for the same reasons. Some people would disagree with others' opinions, and that's fine. But when you build a machine for your own use, you tend to choose hardware from companies that you like. Companies whose products has a good experience with. That is your right to choose which company's parts will go into your computer because it's your machine. What are your personal preferences when it comes to computer? Personal preferences. And lastly, compatibility. If you decide to design your computer yourself, check the news groups and message boards to see if anyone had problems with the particular combinations you've selected. Some components simply don't play nicely with each other. Some components simply don't play nicely with each other. It's compatibility. Hey there, subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. Remember, computers are everywhere. There are some computers or some types of it at home, in school, and at the office. Today, most appliances and gadgets are computerized, which means that a program or software runs our cell phones, modern TVs, and even our watches. It is important for a student to learn how to plan in order to get things done properly, prevents rushed trips to the computer store in the middle of the assembly process to achieve the desired result. The factors to consider are very helpful for the beginner who is planning to design or build their own personal computer.